Hi, I'm Nick Cave, uh, messenger, artist, educator, in that order. Right now we are in facility, the live workspace of Nick Cave, Bob Faust, and Jack Cave. I wanted to create a sort of cultural capsule that the community could sort of experience. This is Uncle Lowe's work. She worked with the Park District and created these drawings that are all constructed out of wire. You know, when you're in the uh, storefront galleries and you see this sort of vast window, you really feel like you can just sort of walk right out into the world. And so that's the sort of amazing thing that we like about this space is that the outside world can feel as if they're part of the sort of artistic expression. Do you know how amazing that is? To not have to sort of work through organizations, the bureaucracy, to be able to sort of have that space Space, this space to react is life changing. It's more than just a studio. It's, you know, what we can say to the world. The first sound suit occurred in 92, and it was in response to the Rodney King beating. I mean, just imagine, like, what does it feel like to be? dismissed, discarded, less than. So I'm just sort of, all of this is going on. I'm in the park, I look down the ground, there's this twig. I started collecting them because it was something that I could sort of kick out of the way, dismiss, and so it fell right into the category that I was sort of in the midst of discovering. So then I come back to the park with a cart and just started proceeding to collect this material. Went home, started to build this sculpture. Didn't know that I could put it on. Wasn't even thinking about it. And then I was like, oh, I can wear this. Put it on, started to move, it made sound. So that's how sound suit came about. And when it made sound, I started to think about the role of protest in order to be heard you got to speak louder. So it was just a lot of things happening very fast in my head. But I also was trying to create something that could protect my soul, that could protect my identity, that could conceal me from the devastation. Um, and as I started to realize, I was really hiding gender, race, class, forcing you to look at something without judgment. Even prior to the dismantling of all of these statues, the bringing down of these Confederate sort of <clears throat> sculptures, I was already thinking about sound suits transferring into bronze. And so one day I was just like, fuck it. I'm just gonna dive all in and do this 12 foot bronze. I just said, you know, I'm going all in. Because I'm really thinking more about ideas of round sort of accessibility, permanency to the work and really legacy. When I realized that I was a messenger, that sort of liberated me from everything, like the work it's never been for me. I'm able to work in this way that is so built from a foundation of purpose. And so, I'm able to move freely, and that's extraordinary.